Hi, in this lesson, we will look at application of sequence. In particular, we are focused on compound interest. To begin the story, suppose Amy has $10,000 and she is going to put them in a bank at an interest rate of 4% compounded annually then at the end of one year the bank adds the interest of 0 0.04 times 10,000 which is $400 to her $10,000 account giving Amy a total of Ten thousand plus four hundred, which is ten thousand and four hundred dollars. But we note the pattern that ten thousand four hundred is equal to ten thousand times one point zero four raised to the power one. During the second year, the $10,400 draw interest. The bank adds 0 0.04 times 10,400, which is equal to $416 to her $10,400 account. Giving Amy a total of $10,400 plus $416, which is equal to $10,816. We note the pattern again. First, $10,816 is equal to $10,400 plus 4% of 10,400 now this is equal to 10,400 times 1.04 and 10,400 is equal to 10,000 times 1.04 this leads us to 10,000 times 1.04 raised to power 2 Continuing in this way, Amy's account will have go to 10,000 times 1.04 raised to the power 3 by the end of 3 years and 10,000 times 1.04 raised to the power 4 by the end of 4 years and so on. Follow the same pattern. By the end of 15 years, the account will go to 10,000 times 1.04 raised to the power 15, which is approximately equal to $18,009.40. To generalize the result, the balance in the account of the end years is 10,000 times 1.04 with the power n. Let's call this number a subscript n. This is an example of a geometric sequence, which is 10,000. 10,000 times 1.04 10,000 times 1.04 square and so on with the first term a equal to 10,000 and the common ratio r equal to 
1.04 To help her money grows even further She decides she can add $1,000 to her saving each year Even more money to earn interest How much will she have after 15 years? This will be covered in the next video as an application of series.